G'day team, welcome to today's video. So today I'm gonna to take you through making a brick pier. So a brick pier is a, an absolute staple of uh, construction in Australia. Um, it's really not too complicated. Um, you can see here different pier configurations. So being bricks, they come in standard sizes, right? So you'd have a 230 by 230 and then a 230 by 350, 350 by 350. You could have a 230 by 470, 470 by 350. Like any, any of those brick dimensions can be like combined to make a brick. So what we're going to do is we're gonna make an extrusion, but it's going to have to be a, um, like a structural column. So we'll go file, new family, and then navigate to, so I was looking for structural column, but I tend to think just being a column will be good enough. So join me on this journey and see how we go. All right. This is all looking pretty fine. So we're going to start off by making an extrusion. So we will just go like that. All right, got my little keyboard there now. So we're going to offset 110 mil because that's how wide bricks are. We're going to trim these corners off. And then we're going to dimension and lock all of these 110. Dimensions. So that means that when we edit the overall width or you know, length or height, then the, uh, the, the bricks are still going to say, stay the same. I guess we'll put that up to there with the material. We might load it into the job and then give the material a name because you want the, the material to be, you know, like, you know, masonry, brick, brown, or whatever it ends up being in the, um, in the rope family. But this seems okay so far. Um, these are not instance parameters. Normally I love if everything's been instance parameter, but you probably don't want them to be in this case because, um, you would pre make a bunch of different sizes. So you'd have your 350 square, your 470 square, um, et cetera, all the way up. And then all the combinations there. So you can pre make all of your sizes of brick dimensions early on. And then you never have to kind of like customize them as you, um, as you go. And then you can have like um, proper like tags built into those types. Um, I hope that makes sense. So let's go file, do a save as. And now let's go load into project. So Went my shortcut for PO, which is for post and then brick pier. That's looking pretty good. The fact that it's a pretty crazy size doesn't mean anything at the moment. Um, it just means that we would then have to Cool. That's looking good. Um, something else you want to be able to do is join it to the wall. Okay. Yeah, that looks, that's functioning pretty well. Good, 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 good. Okay. That's exactly what you want an engaged brick pier to, to kind of function. Like, uh, you want it to actually become part of the wall. You don't want to see a join there. So if that works that easily, that is a pretty good result. Um, okay. <clears throat> Something we do have to try and do here is set the material. So I oh know brick FBD, brick FBD. All right, cool. So if I go into this family now and modify the material, and we'll go create new, or just duplicate an existing one, I guess. And you make it the same material as one that's already in the job you're loading it into, it will kind of automatically work if that makes sense so that's signed assigned to brick fpd we'll load that into yeah override that 
So now the material's there, which is which is good. Um, just means that we have changed the um, they changed the size back, but that's okay because now you'd go through and you'd say that you make this one your. So let's just say. 350 square is 350 square, and then you go duplicate 350 by 470, and then okay, and then you can duplicate it again 350 by 590. There we go. And now we're actually starting to get somewhere with all of these standard sizes, and um, it looks like it works well with integration into the um, into the wall in the case of an engaged brick pier. And it looks like it's already the right material, so that's all looking good to go. Nice easy tutorial today. That was, um, yeah, that's an easy one. It's strange that Revit didn't really have um, one of these already built in, like uh, you go up to insert, load Autodesk family and then you search for brick, which is what I think I've searched most recently. And you got some, yeah, detail items, generic models and profiles, but there's no brick pier, which is like, okay, fair enough. Um, but yeah, look, I hope you got something out of that. If you have been trying to make a brick pier, I hope that walked you through it pretty easily because um, that's a nice easy one for once. Um, yeah, thank you all for watching. I'll um, yeah talk to you soon. Thank you. Bye.